round back deadlifts are healing my spine. I was wrong about deadlifts. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how doing the complete opposite of what I always believed and taught about deadlifts is actually healing my spine. But first, if you're a man between the ages of 18 and 44 and you're struggling in your fitness, business with women or mindset, and you're ready to kill your inner wimp and be your strongest self, then check out my King for Life membership where you can get access to all my best courses, workouts, programs, everything I've ever created, now and forever for life. Plus direct access to me and a like-minded group of men who've got your back to hold you accountable for being your strongest self. Go to kingforlife.net or just click the link down below. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about four different ways that changing my deadlift from the conventional straight back, hyperextended to a flexed round back deadlift is actually healing me in a myriad of different ways. So I started lifting very young. At uh, 14 years old, my uncle taught me how to lift in my basement for football so I get better at sports. And I fell in love immediately and decided to make a career out of it. And throughout that time, I've studied under many great masters and studied many great philosophies and books and watched videos and dived into the world of lifting and doing it really well. And one of those fitness dogmas that I accepted and lived by was deadlifting with a flat back. In fact, it's one of those super strong dogmas that if you ever defy that dogma, people will shit on you. <laughs> On YouTube, you see a video of somebody with a big round back, they'll tell you, oh, you're gonna snap your shit up, you're gonna hurt your back, you're doing it wrong. Uh, and again, I was one of those guys. Well, about five years ago, I tore my Achilles tendon. And as a result, I created all kinds of muscular imbalances up and down my spine. And even though I had manual work done, I done a lot of corrective exercises, over time, with lack of care and attention, I've really fallen into a bad postural pattern. And as a result, now that I'm dabbling with strongman once again, all those muscular imbalances that I sort of ignored while I was doing yoga or just basic bodybuilding are coming back with a vengeance. And many of you guys have been watching these videos where I'm progressively getting stronger. But at the same time, about two weeks ago, I hit a roadblock. My hips, mainly my hips, my glute medius, they were just so cramped up and hurting so much and so sore that even just bending over to pick up a light weight was just irritating me and cramping. Now, something that many of you don't know is that just a few weeks before I decided to jump back into strongman training, I decided to hire an old friend, a strongman coach, in order to help me with my programming. I wasn't sure if I was gonna learn anything new by working with Andrew, but he has taught me a whole lot of new things and challenged me in ways that I never thought possible. Now, before I get into the four ways that round back deadlifting is actually healing my spine, I wanna make a caveat. I'm not saying everybody should round back deadlift. In fact, depending on your posture, namely the position of your pelvis, it's really gonna determine how you should do your deadlift. I'm not against doing flat back deadlifts or hyperextended deadlifts for people who have flat backs or have a posterior pelvic tilt. But for my case, especially after injuries, I had a hyperlordosis and an extreme anterior pelvic tilt. It's sort of genetic, I'm sort of made up this way, but at the same time, injuries have led me to this. So if you've watched some of my old videos and I'm showing you how to do a deadlift with a stick on your back and I'm telling you to maintain neutral, that might still be the best bet for you. I think the best way to go about this is by knowing yourself. Get a physical assessment, pay attention to your body and what's necessary for your strength and healing rather than just doing what I say or what anybody else says. So the first way that round back deadlifting is actually healing my spine is by reversing my hyperlordosis. Now, when I tore my Achilles tendon, I started leaning on my left side and as a result, my hips started becoming imbalanced and started tipping forward. And what that does is it creates an excessive arch in the low back. And as long as I wasn't doing any heavy lifting or straining myself in any way, it really wasn't an issue. But whenever I got back into the gym, particularly when I would do bending exercises, that shift and that tilt would cause all kinds of pain in my hip. 
Now, even though I was doing a whole lot of hip flexor stretches, stretching my piriformis, stretching the IT band, as well as doing lower abdominal exercises, that muscular imbalance or the pain associated with it never really seemed to go away. That was until I started rounding my low back when I'm doing deadlifts. By rounding my low back, I took a lot of pressure off my spine and at the same time allowed other muscles to be integrated into the movement, namely my hamstrings and my lower abdominals. Now, not only do I not feel pain when I do deadlifts with a round low back, I actually feel better. It seems to open certain things up and release certain things. And throughout the rest of the day, I'm walking with a better spring in my step. I'm just feeling all around more healthy, more integrated, and I'm sure my posture, maybe I'm an inch or two taller. The next way that round back deadlifting is actually helping healing my spine is through thoracic mobility. Now, when I would deadlift normally, I would have my shoulder blades down, my chin tucked in, and I got that neutral anatomical spine. But one of the weird things that Andrew told me to start doing was to push my mid back, push my shoulder blades out and push my spine that way. I'm now finding that that extra mobility is creating all kinds of movement in my mid back that actually feels very good. I have a tendency to have a lot of tension in this mid part of my body. And by doing the round back deadlifts, it's sort of opening up that mid spine area that's actually improving my breathing. So it's definitely helping my thoracic mobility, but the benefit of that has been my better breathing. Now, one of the things that happens when your pelvis tips forward, the rib cage pops up. And I've been struggling at least the past two or three years with a lot of pain right below my rib cage because I know that I'm hyperextending and flexing. And I would use all kinds of different breathing exercises in order to sort of blow out a little bit more, have more of an exhale rather than being perpetually in an, in an, in an inhale position, right? This is extension is associated, inhalation is associated with extension and uh, exhalation is associated with flexion. And so I would do a lot of Breathing, breathing out and trying to force my rib cage down. I would even do certain ab exercises just trying to force my rib cage down. But the minute I started doing round back deadlifts and pushing my spine this way, I would stand up and actually feel more relaxed because the being that it's under the weight of 200, 300, 400 pounds, it's really forcing this part of my body to drop in round here and, and relax. My solar plexus is relaxed. I'm not stabilizing with my solar plexus. You could even see if I ever show you my abs, I have really big muscles right below my rib cage. That's the overactive solar plexus. But now those muscles are beginning to relax and I'm breathing much deeper as a result without having to be conscious about my breathing or doing lots of different weird breathing exercises. Hey, look, the iron, it heals too. And the fourth way that round back deadlifting is healing my spine is because of the extra core strength, mainly because of the awareness that has come from doing things in a different way. It has actually really motivated me to do more core exercises and make posture a priority in my life. And as a result, I'm gonna be coming back with a brand new series on this channel all about postural restoration. These are things I spoke about in many videos many years ago, but kind of let fall to the wayside as I explored many other things. But now that I'm starting to integrate it all, that's one of the missing pieces. I'm gonna integrate it into my lifestyle. I'm gonna teach you all about how to restore your posture in many brand new ways. So in conclusion, I'm floored by the fact that I can learn something new that's completely opposite of what I always thought I knew. And as a result, Round back deadlifts was a taboo, but it's now healing my body. Now I'm curious about you. What are your thoughts about round back deadlifts in general? Have you used them? Do they improve your posture, reduce your pain? And as many people suggest, increase your deadlift. There are those who only deadlift this way. Or are you totally against it? You've done it before and it's hurt you and you think no one should ever do it. Comment down below. I love you, bro. Talk to you next time. I'm out.